Realme devices boost a lot of great hardwares rich in features and value for money, but you can actually break the device <laughs> and get stuck in this image. It could be as simple as you want to relock bootloader, flash images through fastboot, or just trying to flash custom ROM. Whichever one it could be, I'm going to give you details right away. <laughs> Hey, welcome back again to Smart Depot today. If this is your first time of watching a video or you've been watching and you haven't subscribed yet, please click on that subscribe button right now and turn on the notification bell icon because very soon, once we hit 3K subscribers, we're going to give out a phone. So make sure you subscribe. That's one of the main criteria. So let's go back right now and talk about <laughs> five tested ways that you can break Realme devices and get stuck in this, I call it the screen of death. You know, there are some things that you can do to get stuck here. And the reason why I also say you should subscribe because I'm going to do a full-up video on this, how to recover from a bricked uh, Realme device. So before I go into that, there are permanent brick where you get stuck here, or temporary one where you still get stuck here, or there is a brick whereby you can break some things in your device and some things like Wi-Fi, uh, hotspot, you know, Bluetooth, or some other things will not be working. So whichever one it is, we're going to talk about five of them. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to, you know, come out from it. The first one is relocking bootloader when your fingerprint is broken. If your fingerprint is broken, if you are uh, not on a stock recovery you're not on stock rom you're rooted do not try to relock bootloader because once you do this thing now you're going to get a permanent brick you're going to get a permanent brick so make sure that before you type fast boot flashing lock that you are on a stock recovery your fingerprint is working everything is okay because the moment you press this thing if everything is not working right you are going to break your device permanently but if everything is working right, it will boot and come up again, you know, wipe the data, just boot again. But if everything is not going well and you try it, your device is gone. Number two is VB meter. Whether you are restoring it from recovery or restoring it from another ROM or whether you're flashing it from fast boot or you're using the wrong command, if you do that with VB meter, you're going to get stuck back to that screen of death when you try to reboot your phone so make sure you are following the right command for vb meta make sure you are flashing the right vb meta and do not try to restore it because if you restore another vb meta you will get stuck in this particular screen of death number three now this is very very important if you back up your stock realme ui back up every partition both data and everything Please do not restore data partition while you're restoring back Realme UI, especially if you're coming from a custom uh, ROM. If you try to restore uh, data, you will get error. And in this process, some partitions have restored, some haven't restored. So there might be some things that might be broken because persist. one persists have restored, the other one haven't restored. And this will make you, if you reboot, some things can be broken like fingerprints and sensors and Wi-Fi. Uh, the next one is magisk now do not flash magic's file or zip when you finished installing stock realme ui you have to boot stock first before you come back to apply magic or flash it if you do that you will get that same screen of death the right way to root realme ui is to make sure that you have installed the stock realme ui booted up and after that you come back into recovery and then you flash magisk file so if you do it like that and flash magisk then the device will boot up and you will be able to use it then number four so uh this one is very very important when it comes to images from recovery to boot to vb meta make sure you are not flashing the wrong image especially from fast boot make sure you're not flashing the wrong image because once you flash the wrong image and you're not even on custom recovery yet you are going to get that screen of death and most likely get either a temporal brick or a permanent brick so make sure you know what you're doing when you're trying to flash images 
from fast boot. It's easier to, to get bricked permanently from that than just from recovery. So let's move into the last one, which I kept for the best, number five, which is very, very important. And number five is the most important, and I kept it for last. If you haven't done this one, you are already planning to break your device. So go into custom recovery, TRWP, I'll put a link in the description and select every partition and back it up. Now, if you do this, copy it and put somewhere safe in your system, in your hard drive, somewhere else, just copy it and put there. Because this actually is what helped me to recover from a brick. You know, I just bricked my device and I was able to recover because of this number five back up every partition and keep it in your safe storage so this is very critical if you do that you will be able to recover if there is a problem of you breaking your device so i want you to make sure you do it right now flash a custom recovery back up every partition and keep it somewhere safe because in the next video i'll do after now i'll show you how you can come back from a brick device but if you don't if you don't have this if you've not done this then there's no hope for you coming back from a brick device so thank you very much i want to hear from you in the comment section and make sure you subscribe i'll see you in the next video subscribe i'll see you